What can payment service providers do to limit the downsides of strong customer authentication? So probably the most major uh, undertaking that they can look at is to do with transaction risk analysis. So anything that is below 30 euros uh, in the new environment doesn't have to go through strong customer authentication. But anything above 30 euros does, unless between 30 euros and 500 euros, the payment service provider is operating on the basis of uh, very limited fraud today. So we use a, a, a sort of assessment mechanism called fraud basis points, and that compares uh, the losses from a fraud perspective to sales or, or to genuine activity in, in the same channel or the same financial instrument. Now, anything that is uh, 13 basis points or less allows the, uh, the payment service provider to say, well, I don't need to use strong customer authentication in this instance. Instead, what I can do is simply uh, process a, a less friction-filled payment. So the thing that they can do is to reduce their fraud levels in the existing environment, and in so doing, that means they don't need to do strong customer authentication in the new environment between 30 euros and 500 euros.